If you guys want to finish Domination, Clutch Time, Unlimited, Level 40, but you don't have the time, DM RoseNBA on Twitter. His link is in the description, and make sure to tell him I sent you. Yo, what's good everybody, it's CP the Doc, and welcome to my team, No Money Spent, episode 14. In my last video, I finally finished grinding for Diamond Brandon Roy, who is pretty much the grand prize for completing everything in my team season 1. Well, almost everything. Even though I'm done grinding level 40, triple threat, clutch time, and unlimited, I still need to finish salary cap since I want to get this Amethyst Victor Oladipo by the end of the season. To get this Victor Oladipo, you have to collect every single salary cap reward and every two weeks we get a brand new one. Just a few days ago we got Brent Barry and now we gotta get Joakim Noah since he's being replaced by another reward in less than two weeks. I also don't have much else to do in my team right now so yeah let's play salary cap. This is my first time playing salary cap ever since we got Brent Barry so my record is back to zero and zero. Back in round one we played really well winning 18 games and shooting over 64% from the field and over 50% from three. If we keep on shooting like this today, then we're gonna win a bunch of games. And real quick, here's a look at my salary cap team. It's pretty much the exact same team I used in my last salary cap video, but we got Trevor Ariza starting at small forward now, and we added Kawhi Leonard off the bench. So overall, I'd say we have a pretty good lineup and I think we're ready to go. So with all that being said, you guys sit back, relax, enjoy this video, and now, let's continue our grind for Victor Oladipo. Alright guys, it's showtime. It looks like we have a pretty good matchup here in game one. We won the jump ball, and now it's time to get to work. This guy's got Giannis, Rafe LaFrance. It looks like he has a pretty decent team, but I think we're gonna be okay. As Robert Horry knocks down the mid-range from the free throw line, perfect way to kick us off. We should be able to get buckets like that every single time down the court, as long as we just stay patient, great ball movement, and Marcus Smart makes the layup two easy buckets in our first two possessions, it doesn't get much smoother than that. On offense, this guy only has one player who I'm really worried about guarding, and that's Giannis. Rafe LaFrance can shoot, but he's not very fast. Right here, we're walling up Giannis, and we should get this stop on defense. Excellent job by Marcus Smart. Fast break. Lane's wide open, but let's throw the extra pass to Derek Fisher for the mid-range jumper. Yeah, our offense is in a groove. Let's see if I can get a little bit more separation before this first half ends. Derek Fisher's looking like a beast. Now Marcus Smart has a wide open lane. Trevor Ariza's got the mid-range. Look at that passing. Look at that ball movement. Every single time down the court, we're getting easy buckets. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I'm not much of a dribble god. I don't like going one-on-one -on -one all the time. I just like getting the best shot possible and I like playing defense too, but let's make sure we get out there and guard that three next time. Let's get back to that pick and roll with Nate Thurman since it's working pretty much every time. We get a really nice step back out of it with Derek Fisher. I'm not gonna lie, this Derek Fisher, Robert Horry duo might be the best possible duo you can run in salary cap considering how cheap each player is. Good defense, better offense. So far, this guy's keeping the game pretty close, but I really like the shots we're getting on offense. Defensively, we're also moving pretty well. It looks like as long as we keep up this effort, we should be fine. Let me go ahead and switch this matchup right quick. Good defense by Hori. Errant pass right there, and we get the stop on D. That's how you lock in on defense right there, man. And this time, Gus Williams gets all the way to the basket for the two. Very solid first half, guys. If we can just lock in this second half and get to 41 points before this guy does, we're gonna be okay. He's got Steven Adams in the game, Derek Fisher. That's great defense by Gus, and war once again. We get a stop. Marcus Smart's ahead of the pack, and this should be a bucket it is not every bucket's gonna be that easy so we gotta take advantage of those easy opportunities marcus smart another free player who's just been huge for my salary cap team honestly he's good enough on defense to play for my unlimited team but nah we're gonna keep him in salary cap just because he's so good here this guy right here is actually pretty good at the game he definitely knows what he's doing and i think it's a good thing we're playing versus a guy like this in our very first game because it gets me warmed up 
up, it gets me in my rhythm, and even though I would have really enjoyed playing versus a trash player or a trash team instead, this is a good test. Just 13 more points, and this win is ours. Let's run again, let's see if I can get another easy bucket, Ariza's is open, now Gus Williams is open. This guy's rotating well on defense, but at the same time, look at that ball movement. Let's keep on running high pick and roll. Lamar Odom has a great open look, and he hits it, man. My bench players and my starters, they're always contributing and we're in a great position to close out this game now. This guy's calling a lot of pick and roll, but you can have the twos. We just don't want to give up any threes. Giannis is right by the basket, but he gets fouled. I thought that was going to be a block. It's okay though. It's our ball with a chance to take a double digit lead. So let's see if we can do it. Ariza fires and hits the three. Yeah, that's probably going to do it for game one. That was also my very first time ever shooting with Trevor Ariza and I don't love his jump shot, but it's not terrible. Another stop on D. This guy's locked in on defense now, but it might be a little bit too late. Gus Williams drives and yeah, that's going to be the dagger. All we need now is a three pointer to win. Let's see if I can get that shot right here. Oh yeah, Gus Williams has it, but he's not a very good shooter. Let's see if I can knock down the game winning shot anyway. And we do. I think that's my first time ever hitting a three with that Sapphire Gus Williams. I barely even shoot threes with him. I don't know what his rating is, but it didn't matter right there. Huge game winning shot. We're going to make a lot of MT from that short salary cap game. And yeah, most importantly, we got the win. Great performance by my guys in game one. That's pretty much a perfect way to begin this season 1-0. and oh. Gus Williams made that game winner despite having a 69 three-point rating. Derek Fisher was great, Robert Horry was great, and overall, our team just looked exactly how I was expecting. Let's jump into game two and let's keep the tide rolling. We're gonna play a lot of games in this video, so if we can bring that same energy every single time, I'm gonna be happy. It looks like we have a rematch Match, ladies and gentlemen we're playing versus the exact same guy we just beat but this time we're on our home floor so let's lock in and let's put on a show for the home crowd this guy's probably feeling pretty confident he probably thinks he has me figured out after game one but we're gonna get off to a good start we're gonna lock in and we're gonna prove that last game was not a fluke ever since that first possession on offense we have just not been the same we haven't gotten our open shots to fall we're not getting many stops on defense we're just not looking very good right now but we are rotating pretty decently in the half court we're not giving them anything open right here and the shot clock's all the way down to three so let's make sure we get a stop right here and then hopefully we can get a bucket let's run 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 ariza's got the ball nice pass to thurmond who finally gets a bucket if we keep on rotating like that on defense we're gonna be okay and obviously i can live with that Giannis shooting threes marcus smart has it thurmond's running down the middle and just like that it's a one possession game getting stops on defense and then running the fast break are our keys right rotation once again LaFrentz has the ball and come on man whoa he actually made that shot let's see if we can get those points right back here good screen by Thurmond Horry's wide open and he knocks down the jumper but Nate Thurmond is injured are you kidding me come on man Nate Thurmond was not even that tired but it's all good. Let's see if PJ Brown can make up for that. This game's definitely not over, but that's not a good sign. Robert Horry's open again. He hits another jumper, but that's just a terrible loss. Nate Thurman's so good defensively. Now this guy has takeover with Giannis and Rafe LaFrenz, so this is going to be a tough ending to the quarter. He's making some real tough shots with Giannis, but like I said already, game's not over yet. We got Gus Williams in there now. He drives baseline, gets to the rim for the easy bucket. Second half, and we're only down by five, but it's not looking great. Giannis is bullying everybody on my team. We don't have Nate Thurman to guard him, and yeah, we're not in a great spot, but the game's not over yet. So let's just move the ball around. Let's see if we can keep on getting open shots like that. And if we keep on getting open looks, I think we can win. It's gonna take a team effort on defense for us to win this game. And I think we can do it. On offense, we're still getting good looks. We just gotta lock in and make sure we can stop this Giannis. You guys let me know in the comments. Is this Giannis right here still in your lineups? He came out on day one of NBA 2K24 and he is dominating me right now, even though it's been a few weeks. So 
If you have this Giannis and you're still using him, let me know. The main thing I don't like about being no money spent is that I can't get that Giannis and he is just such a force driving to the rim. I really don't have many players on my team who can stop him when he drives to the basket, except for Nate Thurmond. Nate Thurmond is an absolute beast, but he's injured, he's not here. Despite that though, we're all tied up. We've come all the way back. Whoever scores 18 points first wins the game. So let's keep on doing what we're doing. Let's play the best defense we can on those screens. He calls for the cut to the rim right there, and we force the miss. We actually have a chance to retake the lead against all odds. Let's see if I can do it right here. He sends a double team. Lamar Odom's wide open, and Odom is gonna hit that three. I have his release down pat. He's not gonna miss when he's that open. This guy's trying to pressure me, trying to force me to make mistakes, but it's not gonna happen. Great defense by PJ Brown. We almost get the steal from Giannis, but overall, I still love the way we're rotating. PJ is so tired, but we're still moving on defense. Shot clock's down to three, two, and Lamar Odom sends it back. That's an amazing defensive effort. Giannis comes to swarm the ball. Ariza's wide open in the corner. Great pump fake. Ariza lays it up and in. And just like that, we're up by five. This guy needs a timeout. Game one really wasn't close. There really wasn't that much intensity there. But in game two, it's definitely there. The crowd's into it. Our fans are into it. And man, this guy's putting on a show, playing way better than he did in game one. Can we answer back with a bucket right here? We got big shot Bob back in the game. And He's right by the basket. He gets a big time standing dunk. And once again, we just need 11 more points. I hate that we don't have Nate Thurmond, who I can sub into this game for PJ Brown. But with that being said, this one's not impossible. I can't give myself any excuse for why I shouldn't win since we're in the lead and we have the ball. Derek Fisher drives to the rim and he puts us back up by five. Yeah, come on, man. Let's close out this game. At this point, I can't give myself any excuse for losing. We just gotta stop. We're on the fast break. Fisher's open. That could be the dagger. We're on the verge of going up by double digits once again, despite all the adversity we've had to face in this game. Giannis was cooking us in that first half. He got takeover, but now he's ice cold. We're playing good defense on him, and this man's not getting much of anything. Let's fight through that screen. Great effort by Fisher. We're right there with Hori, and Giannis misses again. You gotta be kidding me. This guy is definitely upset at his Giannis right now. Marcus Smart's open. Are you kidding me? This guy just ran away from Smart. And just like that, we're three points away. Again, we have a double digit lead. Again, this might actually be the exact same score as it was in game one, which is very ironic. Three pointer wins it. All we need is one bucket. And yep, that's going to be it. Robert Corey knocks down the game winning shot and... If we play versus this guy in a seven game series, or hypothetically, if I were playing versus this guy in a seven game series, I have a two nothing lead. We fight through Nate Thurman's injury. We have a bunch of key guys step up, especially PJ Brown. And against all odds, we begin the new round undefeated. I'm happy about that win, but real quick, we gotta check on Nate Thurman. No, he's injured for eight games and I don't have any healing cards. That's terrible, man. I should be able to get one from the exchange. Yeah, this exchange right here should cut Nate Thurman's injury all the way down to three games, but man, I don't think I can do this again for another hour. Yeah, look at that. I have to wait a full hour to get another one of these cards. That's terrible. Actually, if we just go to challenges, basketball fundamentals, and play this free throws game right here, we could get three games done in less than five minutes. So real quick, I'm gonna do this, and when I'm done, we'll hop right back into salary cap. Five minutes later. All right. That didn't take very long. Nate Thurman's finally back to full strength, which means it's time for our run to continue. Let's see if we can keep that groove going. We're off to a good start. It's not how you start though, it's how you finish. And in game three, it looks like we're playing versus Tyson Chandler, Jason Richardson, Andre Iguodala, Dennis Rodman. This guy's got a pretty good looking team, but half the players in his starting lineup can't really shoot. Chris Paul can definitely shoot, and Tyson Chandler's great defensively. He's a good interior finisher, but come on man that should be three seconds they didn't call it but 
is okay. Let's see if I can get the stop on defense anyway. Interesting first possession for this guy. He ends up getting an open three, but he blows it. This guy missed his very first three of the game. Let's see if I can make my first one right here. Derek Fisher fires and hits a super contested corner three. I know I said earlier that I like passing the ball around, getting the best shot possible, but right there, we definitely could have gotten a better look than that. We also could be playing better defense, so let's see if we can answer back. And of course, let's start getting more stops starting this next possession. We're honestly looking just like we did at the beginning of last game. Our defense hasn't been great. Our offense has been okay, but come on, man. We're down by one. I don't want to be down at halftime, so let's end the half strong. Let's see if I can finally get a stop and turn this thing around. Good defense by Fisher. Great job by Marcus Smart moving his feet. Yeah, this guy's not getting too many clean looks, but he's been able to hit some of his shots, so I can't fault him. Nice run. Nice rim run by Nate Thurmond, and just like that, we're back on top. Man, Derek Fisher and Chris Paul both have takeover already. This is a battle of the point gods. It's looking like this game might actually end up being better than the last one. This guy's hitting some tough shots. He's running off those screens like crazy, and for some reason, we just can't stop it. It makes no sense because I know what's coming every single time. We just have no way to combat it. And hopefully we don't go down by double digits at halftime, but whew, I thought we would. Thankfully we didn't, but we almost did. We're down by seven. We got to outscore this guy by at least eight points this half. And I don't think that's impossible, but he's making some real tough shots. It all starts on defense, guys. We're giving up a few too many open threes off screens. So we got to step up just like that. We can't give this guy anything too easy or open or else he's probably gonna make it shot clocks down to nine great defense by gus williams ray allen has it and i love the way we're rotating immediately we're starting off the second half strong on defense and wow he gets the tip in we were able to answer back and we're gonna tie the game right here but come on man that just sucked we played 24 seconds of great defense, and then he just tapped the ball into the hoop. Another stop on defense, though. We have the ball back, and we have a chance to take the lead. Ariza with the three. Back-to-back -back games with huge comebacks, and we get the inbound steal. Let's take our time. Let's get a smart shot. Nice cut to the rim. Nice dunk by Lamar Odom. We're looking good right now, guys. We're gonna cut it close. This is not gonna be a huge blowout win, but look at the quality of shots we're getting in the half court i love it our defense is on another level right now but our offense is looking good too we catch him sleeping he's playing that off ball defense and we were able to roll straight past him we almost got another inbound steal but it's okay our energy on defense is there we just don't want to give this guy any open looks and right after i say that he almost gets an open look with ray allen Let's just keep on fighting through those screens though. I can live with that shot right there because it's kind of awkward and luckily for us, he missed it. More good defense. Another rebound for Thurmond. He's got seven points, six rebounds. He's playing like a beast, but this is nothing new. He does this every single game and ooh, we have a mismatch in the post, but let's move it back to Lamar Odom instead. Now to Marcus Smart. This guy's playing a ton of off ball, so I really want to give the ball to whoever he's off balling on. Right there, it was Nate Thurmond. Easy dunk. Just five more points, and this game is a wrap. What a beautiful pass to Thurmond, but he got blocked right there. I thought that was going to be a wide open dunk, but I guess not. And now Thurmond's not getting back on defense. Don't tell me he's injured. Please, oh my gosh. For the second time this video, Thurman gets hurt? That's terrible. I know he's tired. I get it. But come on, man. That's his second time getting hurt. 2K is really doing him dirty. Thankfully, we're still gonna win this game. I mean, we only need one more bucket, and for the second consecutive game, we're coming back from an early deficit, but still. Nate Thurmond should be out here on the court celebrating with us. Derek Fisher hits the game-winning shot. As I was saying, though, he should be out here celebrating, but instead, he's gotten injured two out of three games this video, and I think this guy's about to stall me. He's definitely not happy that we just came back and won, but that's the way of the world. I wish I could send this guy a message, but he's on PlayStation, so even though the game's over, I guess we have to wait here. Oh, never mind. He unpauses, we get to see our team celebrating, and yeah, 
we move up to 3-0. That's three pretty good, pretty intense games to begin the season. I wouldn't say any of the games were that intense, but they were fun, I'm not gonna lie. We're shooting 65% from the field and 64.5% from three. That's crazy. But what's even crazier is that Nate Thurman's injured again, this time for nine games. Just like I showed you guys earlier, I can't get another one of these injury cards for 31 minutes. And I don't feel like playing nine games games to heal Nate Thurmond, so I guess we gotta keep on moving. I guess PJ Brown is now our starting center, and I gotta find somebody to replace Nate Thurmond. I could throw in Nikola Vucevic. He's definitely not as good defensively, but he's got a 72 three-pointer, 78 mid-range. He's pretty good at scoring in the post, but yeah, he's definitely not as fast or as good defensively, so I really don't know how I feel about that, but Vucevic's salary is only 800, so I guess I can throw him in and now we have 800 more points to work with. Let's replace Kawhi Leonard with Keegan Murray and just because I haven't been using him very much let's get Kevin Martin out of there and let's just put Alex Crusoe in there. Just like that we're below the cap again. Let's jump into game four without Nate Thurmond and let's cross our fingers and hope we can get another win. This is gonna be tough but definitely not impossible. I think we can do this. We're playing versus John ja Morant, Kobe, Dr. J, Kawhi Leonard, and C. Boo not a bad starting lineup, but I'm really not worried. His only really, really good player is Carlos Boozer, so we could possibly score on him in the paint with PJ Brown like that. It also looks like he's gonna play a little bit of off-ball defense, so I could possibly just get cut straight to the basket like we did on our first possession. Now let's see if we can lock up Dr. J. Great defense by PJ Brown, and that's a great first offensive possession to begin the game. Now, let's see if I can get another bucket. He's off-balling with Kawhi Leonard. Come on, man. If you're gonna play off-ball D, you can't fall asleep like that. You can't just give me a wide-open three and then we almost get the steal. That would have been nice, but it's all good. We're back on defense and we do end up getting a steal, actually. Once again, let's run. Let's make this guy pay for that turnover. Marcus Smart fires and he cashes it in from the top of the key. Yeah, this is a great start. It doesn't get much better than that, but we missed the steal, wide open mid-range, and just like that, our 8-0 start is in shambles. This guy's got momentum now, so we gotta lock in. Let's see if I can actually get a cut to the rim right here, and we do. PJ Brown throws it down. Let's keep on pushing the tempo. Let's see if we can keep on getting good looks. Marcus Smart is 100% that dude defensively and offensively. I love what he's doing in this video. Trevor Ariza's also been great. Like I said earlier, I wasn't using Trevor Ariza in my last video, but he's been really good for the team today. I can't complain about his performance. I don't love his jump shot, but it's still pretty easy to time. And yeah, overall, I'm just loving his effort. Now Robert Horry should get open. Oh, never mind. We got a layup for Derek Fisher. At the very beginning of this game, I said it's probably not going to be easy, but it is going to end up being pretty easy if we keep on getting buckets like that. Did y'all see that behind the back pass by Fisher? That was absolutely beautiful basketball, and yeah, we're getting stops on defense. We're running in transition. This Madison Square Garden crowd is on its feet. They're chanting defense, and we get another stop. The crowd is hyped. They're into it, and I'm getting pretty into it too. Even though I hate the Nate Thurman's not playing, we are still getting easy buckets. I meant to dunk that. I'm sure you guys know I meant to dunk that, but we didn't dunk that. Thankfully, we still have a double digit lead, but hopefully that's not a play I look back on if we end up losing this game. Marcus Smart all the way. Come on, Marcus, you gotta dunk that, man. That's now two back-to-back -back terrible offensive possessions, but thankfully we end our drought and we increase our lead to 13. Let's run some pick and fade this time and let's see if I can get an open shot with PJ Brown. I forget sometimes that he actually has sharpshooting takeover, which makes no sense because his three-point rating's not very high. I'm not complaining. That was a very nice mid-range shot he made right there, but still. I never shoot threes with them, I usually just post up, roll to the rim, and get dunked on apparently too. It's all good though, let's get those points back right here. PJ Brown gets the blow by, and he's filling in beautifully for Nate Thurman. Even without Nate Thurman playing, we still have a double digit lead, we're getting some great shots on offense, and most importantly, we're locked in on defense. He's getting a few nice shots every now and then, he's doing the majority of his scoring with Dr. J, but overall, 
we're just doing our usual. Moving well on defense, getting steals, running in transition, getting open looks. Let's actually see if Vucevic can hit a three. That was my first shot I've ever taken with Vucevic, so I'm not surprised I missed. Even though we missed that first shot, I still trust Vucevic. This time, he knocks down the three. There we go, one for two from downtown. I knew I made a good call by adding Vucevic to the team. He is balling out. This guy needs to stop sitting in the paint. This Vucevic is lighting him up. He doesn't have the silkiest, smoothest release, but it's still pretty easy to time. He's playing good defense on Gobert, and we force a turnover. Let's run, Lamar Odom's open down the middle, and he throws it down. I swear, if he would have gotten another chase down block, I would have been upset. Once again, we're running. Gus Williams has it. I want to shoot with him so bad, but we're going to wait on Marcus Smart instead. Man, has Smart Marcus Smart missed yet this video? I don't think he has. He's been locked in on both ends, hitting all his open threes. He made that pull-up mid-range shot to begin game two, and yeah, we're really just engaged as a unit. We're going to get an open shot right here, but... Y'all already knew that. Just 11 more points, and it's over. Gus Williams gets an easy two. I think every single person I've put in the game has scored. Actually, no. Trevor Ariza still hasn't scored, but he'll get his chance as Marcus Smart hits it again. I already said this, but I don't think he's missed a single shot. That streak continues right there, and so does our lockdown defense. Let's see if I can maybe get Trevor Ariza a shot. If Marcus Smart's open, I will shoot it, but nah. Ariza's got it. He fires, and yep, there we go. Now everybody's scored. All we need is one more point, and this game is over. Wow, that sucks. He misses a pretty easy layup with Kobe. Now we have a wide open shot with Keegan Murray for the win. What a blowout. 30 point win in salary cap, easily our biggest win of the video, and it just so happened to be without our anchor, Nate Thurmond. I'm not complaining, but I still wish Nate Thurmond was here. I think I've said that so many times now, but I gotta say it again. Four wins now, no losses. We're moving up to the Emerald tier, and maybe in this pack, there's gonna be an injury card I can use. That would actually be amazing if there's a heal all injury card in this pack, so let's cross our fingers and let's see what we got. Eh, we got a head injury card, but I'm pretty sure he twisted his ankle, so that's really not gonna help, unfortunately. I guess that means we have to run it back with this squad right here, which I guess I can't complain about. These guys are pretty fun, so let's go for another dub. Can we keep this streak alive? There's really only one way to find out. This guy's got a very good squad though. He's got five players who can all shoot. All these guys can defend. This is gonna be a tough matchup. Not an impossible matchup for us to win, but it's not gonna be easy. Let's run that good old fashioned pick and fade and let's get an open shot with Hori. Man, that's bread and butter right there. It works pretty much every time. Getting open with Hori is the easy part, but man, he always cashes in. That jumper, he hits another one over Jason Kidd. Let's keep on rolling. He's trying to to attack Derek Fisher and it actually worked. He made the layup easily, but let's answer back again. Let's run some pick and roll this time with PJ Brown and oh yeah, lane's gonna be wide open. Robert Horry's open again. I could have just taken the layup, but I had to pass out for the extra point. Why take a two when you can take a three? That's nine points already, and he might get two points back right here, but we force him out of bounds. Great job by PJ Brown. I think the reason why we're playing so well without Nate Thurmond is because we're on our home floor. Look how we're running in transition and dunking. We're getting the fans hyped, and I'm not going to lie. I don't actually think that our home court's the reason why we're winning. I don't think home court advantage really means anything in 2K, but it definitely means something in real life, so I like to believe that it also means something in the game so hopefully you guys don't think I'm crazy I'm just happy about the way we're playing I like playing when my home fans are going for us and obviously we're just so locked in right now more great defense Fisher has takeover and we should get an open look on the fast break that would have been a three but I don't know why Ariza took a step in he easily could have just caught the ball stood in place and shot a three but instead he had to make things complicated Hori's got it and he scores again I guess that kind of makes up for Trevor Ariza's pull up mid-range shot but nah we should be up by double digits right now Let's see if we can get a stop on defense though. Great defense by Ariza on Danny Granger. That definitely makes up for his shot earlier. Let's make sure we score. Derek Fisher drives, Marcus Smart's open, and once again, he hits the three. I'm gonna say it again. 
he hasn't missed. His streak of making all these threes continues and he's a big reason why our three point percentage in salary cap is like 65%. Let's throw it to him again. We're not gonna get a three, but somebody will. Who's gonna get the three? It looks like Nikola Vucevic is gonna get the three. Perfect release. We got some great shots up with him last game, and yeah, more of the same in the next game. Terrible defense, but once again, we will go into the second half with a double digit lead. Gus Williams misses the three, but it's okay. Let's start off the second half strong. This guy's playing some on-ball defense with Jason Kidd. Nice move by Gus Williams, though, who gets a tough bucket. Man, that was nice. Let's throw it back to Gus Williams, who just had a beautiful finish. He dishes it to Vooch. Vucevic has been big off the bench. I don't want to move him into the starting lineup just because PJ Brown's been so good, but man, Vucevic has been pretty nice. If anybody's wondering how to get Nikola Vucevic, you get him by finishing the Chicago Bulls NBA Series 1 collection, and I actually got like 11 or 12 of the players for the collection just by opening packs. Either I opened packs or got the super cheap gold players on the player market. The only expensive player that I remember having to buy is Zach Levine. I got DeMar DeRozan from a pack, I got Lonzo Ball and Vucevic from packs, and then all the super cheap gold players that cost 1,000 MT, I got them from the player market, so I actually barely had to spend any MT or VC or anything to finish that collection and get Vucevic. I'm probably never going to use him outside a salary cap, but he's been pretty good in this video, so I gotta give him credit. He's probably never going to make the unlimited team, but in salary cap, he's a serviceable backup center who could maybe start. Let's keep on going strong because this game's actually not over yet. Big three-pointer by Gus Williams, though, to put his back up by double digits. That's not quite the dagger since there's a lot of time left in the game, but I'm feeling good about the position we're in. I hope you guys are feeling good about it, too. It's looking like this should be another double-digit win. It's crazy. We've won almost every single game in this video by double digits, except that one game that we won like 46-38, but in that game, we were down pretty bad. We had to come back, so I think it's pretty cool that we were able to come back and win by eight. Gus Williams, ah, misses the three. That doesn't happen very often, and it's not gonna happen again this possession. Derek Fisher puts us up 15. Now that shot right there could really be the dagger, and he's open for another one! We the best! Just six more points, two more threes, and we got ourselves another win. At this point, this guy's just jacking up BS. He knows this game's pretty much a wrap, so let's just keep on moving the ball around, getting open shots. Robert Horry has it, and apparently he's injured. I didn't even notice, but he's still in the game, still playing great. He dropped an absolute dime right there to PJ Brown, and once again, this is gonna go down as another great team effort. Look how we're still locked in on defense too, and we could potentially get a shot right here. I don't know why Derek Fisher's sitting in the paint. Thankfully, he eventually went out to the three-point line, and then he drops another dime. I don't know how or when Robert Horry got injured, but he's still in the game, so let's knock down the game-winning shot with him. We get a 21-point blowout win on our home floor right after we win by 30. That's crazy. As I was saying, though, how did Robert Horry get hurt? It shouldn't be a serious injury since he was able to stay in the game. He had 18 points, 2 rebounds, 4 for 6 from 3, Marcus Smart 2 for 2, Derek Fisher 2 for 2. Just another great shooting game for the team and another great win. We're moving on up to the Sapphire tier. We got 2,500 more MT. And honestly, I think that might be a perfect place to end this video. 5 wins, no losses, and we're over 25% of the way there to getting Joakim Noah. I'd say we're off to a pretty good start, and honestly, I haven't even been on the game for that long, so if I just keep on playing and winning at this pace, we can definitely have Joakim Noah by the end of the week. On paper, he looks very good. He's a 6'11 center with a 90 defensive rating. Obviously, he's not much of a three-point shooter, but he does have a 75 mid-range, a 70 driving dunk, pretty good ball handles for a 6'11 big, 88 block, 88 interior defense, pretty decent speed, very good rebounding, and obviously, very good badges. This Joakim Noah card definitely looks worth it, especially considering how easy it is to get him. I mean, you guys just saw. 
I played five games in this video and we're already over 25% of the way there to getting Joakim Noah. I was able to get Brent Barry after playing only 20 games, so it looks like we should also be able to get Joakim Noah by playing the same number of games. That's actually really good. So with all that being said, we're about to end this video. If you guys are wondering what's coming up in future episodes of this series, then I guess I'll show you right now. First things first, we got a brand new promo in my team, Fast Break, and if you collect every single card in this collection right here, all five cards, including Bingo, Smith, and Rick Mahorn, then you get Clyde Drexler and Draymond Green. And the cool thing about this collection right here is that you can get every single player for free. Just go down here to Fast Break, you'll see the challenges right here, and as y'all see on that far right corner, there's Clyde Drexler. All you gotta do is finish challenges to get the players along the way like Rick Mahorn and Bingo Smith who you just saw on the main menu and on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday we're gonna get three more players and once you get all the players you get Clyde Drexler and now let's go over to my collection, season one, fast break, and right here as y'all see Draymond Green. So we're gonna have these cards in no time, all you gotta do to get Draymond and Clyde Drexler is just grind agendas which I think is really cool. That's two free Amethyst cards right there and yeah, if you're no money spent, or even if you're all money spent, you don't want to miss out on this opportunity. I'm also making some really good progress on all-time domination. I haven't had that much time to play it since domination can be pretty time consuming, but I've finished 36 out of 99 stars, that means I've played 12 out of 33 games, and these games are tough, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't lost a single game, but I've definitely had some very close calls. In this game right here versus the all-time pistons, we only had a four point lead with three minutes left but Kyrie made a layup to give us a six point lead he made another layup to put us up by eight he made another layup to give us a double digit lead and before you know it we ended up winning by 18 points in this game right here versus the all-time Hornets who are probably one of the easiest teams you have to play against we only had a nine point lead with one minute left but Kyrie made a layup, then another layup, then Jabari Smith made a dunk to help us win by 15 exactly. Versus the Utah Jazz, we only had a three point lead in the fourth quarter, but we pulled away and ended up winning by 24. And versus the Chicago Bulls, this wasn't even close. This game disappointed me. I thought they were gonna be so good because they have Michael Jordan, Derrick Rose, Scottie Pippen, Rodman, Jimmy Butler, all those guys, but we shot 83% from three, 70% from the field. We got a huge blowout win where we led by as many as 37. So we've had our fair share of easy games and tough games, but we've made it through every game so far. I have my strategies and they've kind of been working, but these CPUs are super tough. So I don't know when I'm going to finish this domination, but my goal is to have it done by the end of this coming weekend and I can test out Pau Gasol in my video once I'm done with all-time domination. So coming up very soon, you guys prepare for a Clyde Drexler and Draymond Green video, prepare for an all-time domination video, and of course, I'm expecting that we're going to get some pretty good players in packs this weekend, so I'm probably going to use some of this 550,000 MT I have to buy a new player since my team is not perfect. Kyrie is awesome. Brandon Roy is awesome. I love Bruce Bowen and Jabari Smith, but I'm not going to lie. I could get somebody like Scottie Pippen or Sean Kemp to be my power forward. And actually, real quick, I just remembered, speaking of Sean Kemp, I got to show y'all something. Let's go to level up and look at this. I was able to get Mitch Richmond, but y'all see that little logo on him, so y'all know I can't sell him. I also got Tom Janovich, Charlie Ward, and Tyrone Hill all out of packs. I got Asor Thompson out of a pack too, but he's not unsellable, so that kind of sucks. But if I just get Desmond Mason and Dee Brown, I can lock in for Sean Kemp. So you guys let me know in the comments, should I lock in for Sean Kemp? I mean, we have a lot of MT and I could improve my power forward position. Plus, Sean Kemp is an Evo player. He evolves, so he'll be even better than just an Amethyst when we get him. I could even lock in for Sean Kemp and make it into a video. Honestly, that would probably be a pretty good episode of the series, so you guys let me know if you want to see that. I don't know for sure if Sean Kemp is worth his entire own episode, but yeah. Like I said, 
y'all let me know and i think i've been going on for too long talking for too long so let's go ahead and end this video right here let's jump straight into the outro if you made it all the way to the end of this video and you're still watching right now then huge shout out to you thank you so much for watching and i really hope you enjoyed it now if you really did enjoy this video and you're still watching right now but you haven't subscribed or dropped a like yet then what are you doing make sure to hit the like button if you haven't already make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos in this series and also show some love in the comments turn on notifications so you get notified about every single upload and yeah i appreciate you guys so much for making it to the end i can't thank y'all enough for supporting this series because i've been having a lot of fun playing the game editing these videos posting these videos all that good stuff so thank you guys for all the support and with all that being said i don't think i have anything left to say so one last time thank y'all so much for watching i hope you guys stay chill stay safe have an awesome rest of your day and i'll see y'all again real soon